Hello, this is Gary Davis, and in this video we're going to take a look at a cool partnership between Autodesk and Mixamo. Uh, I'm using 3ds Max 2015 here, and what we've got is a character that's loaded up. This is just the geometry. If I go over to the Display tab and turn off geometry, you can see there's no rig in this scene at all. So we're really just dealing with, uh, you know, a t an obvious uh, T-pose. This could have been coming from anywhere. It could have been modeled natively in uh, 3ds Max or Mudbox or what have you. And what I'm going to do is actually go into this... Uh, tool that Mixamo has, Mixamo.com. Um, specifically, I'm going to go, they have Create, Rig, and Animate. And um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about this uh, automatic rigging tool. Now, before I do that, under the Animation tool, uh, this is not a new feature to 3ds Max 2015, but one that I just want to point out. Under the Utilities uh, tab for More, you can go and find Animation Store. And this is something that was added to previous releases of 3ds Max, but it's it's a very cool way and partnership. It was the first of a few partnerships that we have between Autodesk and Mixamo. And this is where you can apply uh, character animation and actually see it in the viewport on either a biped rig or a cat rig. Uh, very cool for doing a motion capture and if I have time to do that at the end of this video I'll show that. But in this case what I want to do is take an existing character like this a mesh with textures and I want to use the Mixamo Auto Rigger. So what I'm going to do is actually come up here and just say export this and I'm going to export the entire scene to the root of my uh, work drive here and I'm going to just call this Sven. Now Sven I'm going to go out FBX and the only option that I'm going to change here I'm going to use the Autodesk Media and Entertainment preset but the one uh, thing that I like to do personally is embed the media so this is going to include the texture maps. Now when I do that it's going to export this out and there we go. Now if I look back out on the uh, root of my drive I've got a Sven FBX and if I double click on that it's going to actually load up in Autodesk FBX review. And I can uh, kind of frame all in here. Uh, zoom back out. Whoops, hang on. My uh, mouse is being a little bit wonky here. But what we can do is you can see that our character uh, exported out, you know, it has no animation or anything and it has no uh, skin and bones, but we're going to be able to use this for uh, the uh, Mixamo process. So I'm going to go to their website and just say upload a file. And I'm going to go out on the root of my drive and just pick that Sven model that I just exported. And you'll see this process in real time. I'm going to try not to do any pausing here, so you know nothing up my sleeve. So I'm uploading that uh, character. You can see here that uh, you can load this in a T stance or in a uh, sort of a neutral pose. It doesn't want quadrupeds or anything like that, so this is made to work with uh, bipedal humanoids. And it has to be less than 30 megabytes, so this is going to be uh, fine for this particular character. And then one thing as it's uploading here I'll point out is there's auto cat script for 3ds Max and auto biped script for 3ds Max and I've already input those in my uh, Max scripts directory and you'll see those um, do their magic in one second here. But as the uh, file uploads, um, again this is real time so this is the internet, um, one thing I'm going to do while I'm talking is actually uh, plug in a mouse. I'm using a tablet and I've had some, sometimes I've seen some a little bit issues uh, so again you're seeing this happen in real time and as I fumble to plug in my mouse on my laptop. So here you can see my character is uh, actually uploaded. I'm now plugging in my mouse. Let me grab a mouse pad <laughs> and we'll continue. So what I'm going to do now is actually take our character and you can see that it's uh, you know aligned perfectly. There's tools here to reorient or whatever but I'm going to say let's go ahead and rig this. So now what I can do is say we've got our character and let's actually use this uh, these tools right here on the Mixamo website to just place this. So I'm going to choose his chin. And you can see over to the right of as I'm working, there's uh, guides kind of to what's going on here. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Here's the right wrist. And I'm just looking, uh, whoops, again, having some issues with my mouse here. Looking for the wrist. And I'm going to do this really quick, all in real time. Let me put down my pen. I'm moving to the mouse laptop, this uh, pad. That's actually the worst case scenario. But we go left wrist right elbow, left elbow, right knee, got some nice targets on our Sven character right here, uh, left knee, and I think you can see where we're headed with this, but I just wanted to show how effective this is in real time, and lastly the good old groin, and we'll just put that right in there. So what we can do is t take a double check and kind of see that our character is matching up. I did that pretty quick. Also not using a mouse. I'm using the tablet or the uh, pad on my laptop of all things. And I'm going to say go ahead and preview this. Now this is, uh, I'll have a little bit of talk here. It says auto rigging can take up to two minutes. And what I'm going to do is actually just pop over while that's happening. I'll just show you some of the results here. This is, uh, 
I did this ahead of time, but these are the character results. And you can see that I've got two versions of Sven here. Over on the right, you can see our familiar cat uh, uh, widget there, parent. And if I switch out to the next image, you can see that the resulting uh, two options here is one is a biped or a character studio mesh over here, and one is a cat rig. So whether you're using either of uh, 3ds Max's two automated uh, character animation tools for doing, uh, you know, manual characters, so this is not Populate or Max Bones, but this is biped, aka Character Studio, or the cat system of animation. So I'll just pop over here and give this another second. Um, while I do that, actually, I'll do the old uh, demo guy song and dance here. Uh, I have one that I already did over here, and you can see the results as I uh, kind of move over here. This is a uh, version that I did just before, prior to doing the recording, and you can see that our character is coming out with some motion capture, uh, very quickly rigged and very nicely skinned and boned. So this is an FBX file. If you're not familiar with FBX Review, I highly recommend uh, Googling FBX Review and go ahead and get that. It's a free download. Uh, very useful for anybody doing any fi files or interop transfer between things like uh, 3ds Max, uh, Mudbox, Unity, and so on. So you can see that we've got some great motion there. Now I'll just close that out and we've got our character finished. Perfect timing. So here you can see I've got my character and it's just a generic sort of animation to see what's, you know, how the skinning works. And I'm going to just go ahead and say, you know, and I can zoom in here and really check the skin weighting and all that, but I'm going to say go ahead and finish this. And I'll say finish that out. So we've got our auto rigging success. Now your character has been rigged. What would you like to do? Well, I could apply animation to this, and that's where Mixamo has this great animation store. But in this case, I want to jump right into the action back inside of 3ds Max 2015 and show you the uh, tools to do that conversion. So I'm going to just say, let's go ahead and download this, and I'll check it out. Uh, by the way, if you haven't heard of Mixamo or this auto rigger, uh, you can actually use this uh, tw uh, two times for free before uh, signing up and buying credits and everything like that. So if you want to give this a shot, kick the tires on this. I was blown away the first time I ever did this. It's been it's been a pretty phenomenal tool. So here I'm going to say Sven is not yet downloaded and I want to do this in a T pose or the original pose. I'll say go ahead and download this in the T pose and I'll select the file format here, uh, BVH and so on. I'm going to go FBX because that's the Autodesk glue and I'm going to say download this. So this is downloading. Again, I'm doing this all in real time. And once this file comes back down, doo -ba -doo -doo, I'm going to go over back into 3ds Max and I'm just going to reset. So we're starting with an empty scene. Let's see if our character is downloaded. Okay, so our character downloaded. I'm just going to cut this, move it off to our the root of our directory. So we've got Sven FBX. Oops, let's just overwrite my practice one. So this is the one that I just download. I can double click on it once again and just check the work that I did. So here's our character that came down. But in this case, now it has bones. So if I go out to Max and say import this FBX file back to the root, uh, let's load Sven in. I'm just going to use the default FBX importer. So now it's uh, doing all the conversion, all the uh, you know skins and bones and things. You can see over here that we have the whole hierarchy that came in. If I maximize this and uh, let's, let's jump into a camera view, you can see that if I hide our geometry that we have now the full skeleton system and rigging. Now what I can do is actually uh, continue to work with this uh, using motion capture, or maybe link to Autodesk Motion Builder. But if I want to stay inside of 3ds Max and do character animation very simply, I can just come over here and say, let's run a script. Oops, and we're going into autosave, of course. Go into Max Script, Run Script, and I've put in these two scripts from Mixamo, the Auto Biped Rigger and the Auto Cat. For the first time, I'm going to say, let's run Auto Biped, and this is magical right here. If I say, just go ahead and run Auto Biped and hit Open, you're going to get this little dialog, and it just says, Create Biped. Now, what happens, oops, and that's going to be something I need to check out. Let's try this again with the Cat Rigger, my bad. Maybe I'd have to select all this, Run Script, and Run Auto Cat. Well, there we go. The cat one's working. I'll check on the biped one in a second here, but you can see how fast this is going through and the, doing the auto naming. I think I actually know why the uh, biped one didn't work. I might be missing a script uh, location. But here we get the cat rig, and you can see that we've got our character. No animation on this, but it is, in fact, a cat rig, and I can go do, you know, normal cat animation stuff, loading up uh, animation channels, uh, maybe the... Um, 
game character preset, whatever. And this is just, again, not going to be a full cat demo, but you can see that I've got all the animation ability of cat. Now, if I just trash that animation layer, one other thing to kind of reiterate is that I can go in and load uh, motion capture directly onto a cat rig, or that I can come back over into the animation store and go back to the Mixamo and search motions. So this is where I'd be browsing and maybe say um, dance or, I don't know, robot. Do a search for that and you can see that I could say uh, robot, hip hop, dance and whatnot. So this uh, wants to have a character selected in my scene. I can preview that in the scene. And you've probably seen this or hopefully you've seen this before. This is not a new feature to 3DS Max 2015, uh, but it's just a cool feature that allows you to do in uh, app browsing and you can preview the animation before you actually buy it. So there are other examples of this out on the internet, so I'm not going to go through that entire process, but as this loads up, you can see uh, that I could actually see this animation in 3DS Max applied to my cat rig or my biped before actually making that purchase from Mixamo. So it's a great partnership between those two. Uh, for time's sake and for my own sanity, I'm going to pause the video and just make sure I have those scripts installed uh, in the correct spot for the second part to show the biped conversion. I'll be right back. Okay, as I expected, that was user or loser error on my part. I just didn't have the script in the right place. So again, I'm going to show you this in real time. I'm just going to import the resulting FBX without any, uh, uh, it's just the uh, bone rig and skin. So this is the results from the auto rigger on Mixamo. Importing it once again, we get our system. And now what I'm going to do, I did not have the uh, scripts in the right spot. So I'm just going to say, let's go ahead and run a script. I'm going to browse out to our auto biped and say auto biped. Now again, I'm just going to say create biped, and in real time, this is going to go ahead and create a biped rig. You can see that happening in the background, lots of uh, action happening. But this is basically converting using a pre-defined uh, script that is associated with the, the default naming conventions of biped or character studio and the Mixamo rig. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we've got a resulting uh, character, and you can see... If I go and look at this, we've got all of our character and skeleton, and you can see the full hierarchy that is, in fact, a biped. So there's our biped and full hierarchy. Now what I can do just to kind of show you that uh, everything worked out okay, there's our geometry hidden, and you can see the biped rig. I'll select a piece of that and go back to our geometry. And then, as in typical Character Studio fashion, I could just load in uh, a BIP file or other types of motion capture. This is always a fun one. I'll just uh, load that up and then we've got our character. So that wraps it up. I just wanted to show you two really quick workflows, or actually several quick workflows, taking a pre-existing character uh, mesh without any bones or without any skinning and you know, using the Mixamo uh, website for completely automating this process. And you can see that I've got some other characters in here. Uh, just wanted to point out the partnership that we have using this uh, great auto rigging tool. And again, uh, really powerful users use for 3ds Max where you can go to um, 3ds Max Cat or Character Animation Toolkit and also uh, the uh, biped. So two options using Cat or biped with 3ds Max and that's going to do it for me. Thanks very much for listening.